burying treasures again? I keep telling you, one day ponies will hunt for my treasures all over Equestria. Pfft, they're nothing but trinkets. Don't you think it lessens the value the more treasures you bury? At least I got better things to do. What is it you always do again? Lie on the ground and talk about how much you want to embrace the moon? <sighs> I can see it right before my eyes. You're just jealous because you can never embrace the sun. Plus, I only have one treasure. It's my most valuable treasure. <sighs> Tease. You keep saying that, but you never tell me what it is. I'm gonna find out, Luna. I promise. <laughs> the more mysterious it is, the more value it adds, right? Your Highness, it's your mother. Come on, let's go for a walk. What? Food? Let's go get something to bite. I'm fine. Don't worry. Mom hasn't moved in a week. I'm sure she'll be fine. <sighs> I'll go get you some soup, okay? I'll be back in ten. <laughs> Mom? Mom, it's me. Luna. Uh, Celestia? Luna, Mom. It's Luna. Uh, Sally? No, Mom, it's... Luna? Luna, what happened? Where's Mom? She's gone. Uh, when? How did she... Did she wake up? Did she say anything? No. better be good. It's a very complex spell. It'll take a decade to- The problem to... is that the more we wait, the farther it gets out of our reach. Do you even know what it is that was stolen? Everlasting night. A spell, when conjured, stops the sun from ever rising again. One of the again. most dangerous! The very last spell that was written by our mother, sis! I'm sorry, I just don't like the way you- You're reacting to all of this! Do you realize what you just did? I just came here to ask if you could tell your night guards to scout at midnight. They must travel at night to keep a low profile. Now you're telling me what to do. How about I tell you to get out of my sight? I'll handle my own guards. You handle yours. Hey, we'll find it, okay? Go! Hello, sister. Well, guess I went to the dark side, huh? I just want to say, it wasn't your fault. I've let my own jealousy and hate get the best of me. I should have known better. I've been a terrible sister to you, and I don't deserve any of the love and care you've given me. It was too late. I'm sorry. I couldn't do anything to stop myself. Please, sister, take me to the moon. But don't feel bad. I can finally embrace the moon, sis. <laughs> While I'm gone, 
Promise me that you'll never stop caring for our friends. Promise me to continue smiling as you raise the sun. Promise me to never do what I did. And I'll promise you that I'll come back. I'll come back someday. To my sister. <laughs> Luna. My most valuable treasure. I'll get you back down here, okay? I'll get you back down. Just please don't do this to me. Don't leave me. Please don't. Please. You know, you shouldn't read at this hour. You might get blurry eyes. Ponies really believe that? Well, you're going to miss the sunrise if you don't keep your head up. Have you read this before? The eldest used her unicorn powers to raise the sun. The younger brought out the moon. One faithful day, the younger unicorn refused to lower the moon. Tch, <laughs> at least give it some poetic writing. <laughs> so tell me, Twilight, how would you have written it? I'm more of a reader, not much of a writer, but I would write... The two sisters lived in harmony for generations on end. However, one memorable day, they let a sad conflict get the best of them. The older one had no choice but to banish her own sister. The younger one felt anger as she is overpowered by the elements of harmony. However, the younger sister had wished for this ever since their fight started. Take me to the moon, she says. Right before she would banish, she asked that her sister continue to make friends. Twilight. She asked that she'll continue to smile as she raises the sun. Twilight. And if she keeps these promises, she will return Luna. to her most valuable treasure. Oh, Luna, how could you leave me in a world where no one has faith in me? A world without you is a world where happiness is not found. If Mom if was mom's here, here, you'd soon be referred to as Sally. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll come back. I promise. I will keep my promise if you keep yours. I will wait for your return. Even if it takes a thousand years. Until then, Luna. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. I'd call it the Sisters Prologue.